Live from WFSB, Connecticut's first choice for news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News This Morning. It is now holiday season, and with holiday crunch time here, just eight days until Christmas, as humans are out celebrating, decorating, and getting ready, it could be a potentially dangerous time for your pets. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Teresa LaBarbera joins us live in Avon with some helpful hints to keep your furry friends safe. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Diana. Folks tend to forget the four-legged friends this time of year with all of the hustle and bustle, but it is very important because it could be a potentially dangerous time for pets. And we are here at the Farmington Valley Veterinary Emergency Hospital and joined by Dr. John Rob. John, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks for having me. Sure. And tell us uh, just how dangerous a time of year this could be. It can be life-threatening to an animal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, animals need to be watched at all times and you have to be very careful what you put in their environment and of course at Christmas time we bring all these things into the house the Christmas tree ornaments tinsel all these things are potentially toxic and dangerous to animals sure and I see that we have a wreath behind us and yes. how can this cause problems to animals well, well let's look at a simple one here Teresa this is mistletoe up here and mistletoe is toxic to animals and cats particularly like to eat plants mm -hmm. so they'll go over and start chewing on that the next thing you know your plant your cat is vomiting and and he ends up at the emergency hospital so if you're going to have these things make sure to put them out of the way so that the cat cannot get near it okay. okay and we also have an emergency travel kit here this is probably a good idea to have in your car if you're traveling with pets what do we have in here well one of the big things that happens to pets is lacerations. I mean, we're an emergency hospital. We see it all the time. So mm -hmm. it's important to have some bandaging material ready to go, mm -hmm. okay? So you can, you know, if something's bleeding, you can quickly put a bandage on it and stop the bleeding until you get to the nearest emergency clinic. Uh, that's one example. Um, mm -hmm. There are other examples, of course. Icy hot, if you have a, an animal that has a wound that's, that's swollen and painful, you can put that on it to, again, relieve the pain until you get there. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is very important. If an animal ingests something, mm -hmm. uh, you may call me and I may say we need to make your animal vomit as quickly as possible. If you have hydrogen peroxide, you administer that orally and the animal will vomit and get the toxins out of the system. So these are just some of the items in the emergency pack. All right, Dr. Rob, thank you. We'll have plenty more safety tips for your animals coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live from Avon, Teresa LaBarber, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. New this morning, it's the holiday crunch, just eight days until Christmas. And as humans are out celebrating, decorating, and getting ready, this could be a potentially dangerous time for your pets. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Teresa LaBarbera joins us live from Avon with some helpful hints to keep your furry friends safe. Morning, Teresa. Good morning, Diana. Now, it's a very hectic time of the year, and folks sometimes might forget about our four-legged friends, but we are here today to offer you some helpful hints. We are live at the Farmington Valley Veterinary Emergency Hospital. I'm joined by Dr. John Robb. Doctor, thanks for waking up with us this morning. Hi, Teresa. Good morning. Uh, doctor, we should talk about Christmas trees. Everyone's putting them up this time of the year, decorating them, but they really could pose a serious problem for pets. Absolutely. Let's start with the uh, water, okay? <laughs> Cats, dogs will go over and drink that water, and that water is toxic from the sap and stuff coming down from the tree. So you want to cover the base of the tree to take care of that. Okay. Also, uh, ornaments, glass ornaments, oftentimes get knocked off, get stepped on. There's another hazard. Tinsel. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of animals ingest tinsel that get stuck in their intestines and emergency surgery is necessary. How about chocolate? People put chocolate ornaments on. Theobromine is toxic to animals, so they'll eat those and become toxic. Mm -hmm. And then other things like you know, mistletoe and some of the other things they put as little ornaments on the tree. Again, the animals jump up, they eat those things, they're toxic to animals. So there's some very important tips on Christmas trees and Christmas tree safety. Now, Doctor, let's say, for instance, uh, a dog or a cat is injured by an ornament, they're cut, they're bleeding. Right. How do we take care of that at home? Well. If an animal had a laceration, let's say, you'd want to put a bandage on, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, I have bandage material here. I'd be glad at some point to demonstrate to the audience how to do that. So it stays on mm -hmm. to stop the bleeding until, of course, you can get to a facility like ours where we can take care of that laceration. Why do I do that? We could use my arm. All right. <laughs> well, the, the big... Go ahead. The big thing with bandages is keeping them on. Right. So the most important thing we're going to do is put a stirrup on here. I put this actually on you, and this would be the animal's paw, 
and then we'll go through with the bandage very quickly here, okay, et cetera, I put a little pressure there. But what happens here is you take the end of this, okay, and you bring it back into the bandage like that. And what this does is this stops the bandage from being able to fall off. Mm -hmm. A lot of people put bandages on, but by the time they get there, the animal's bleeding the bandage on. So a simple stirrup will keep that bandage on, okay? Very good advice, doctor. You're Thank welcome. you. And Dana, we will have plenty more helpful hints to keep your animal safe coming up in the next half hour. For now, we are live in Avon with the Mobile Newsroom, Teresa LaBarber, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Teresa. Looking forward to